Hey y'all, welcome Stampers. It's DX Stampin' Sharon. I am live on Thursday night, December the 2nd, 2021. We are winding down this year um, and I was getting all my decorations out and I found this sign from when I had um, classes in my home and I was like, why can't I just show it on my video? So there you go. <laughs> A lot of us have put up our Christmas decorations. I know that's what I worked on over Thanksgiving um, because I had a lot of kids here to help me. So I put them up on that ladder and got them to decorate the top of that tree. I have a 12 foot Christmas tree. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, you know, they say that everything's bigger in Texas. So I had to go big or go home. Um, I'm gonna move my little sign, but I just want y'all to feel welcome. I don't want to knock that over in my in my haste while I'm trying to demonstrate to y'all tonight. So we'll just set that aside. I had it sitting on the counter behind me, but I was like, they can't read that. Let's just bring it closer to the camera. So yay, Kim gave me a thumbs up and she has shared tonight's video. Share this video with your friends. They, they're going to want to know how to make this fun pinwheel gift card. It is so easy. You know, when you look at it, you go, oh, that looks hard. I don't even want to watch. Please watch and please enjoy how easy this card is to put together. We're going to use up some of those designer series paper scraps that I know you guys hang on to. So I want to welcome all of my live viewers who are in the chat box chatting. Um, we've got people from all over the world and that just... It just makes my heart happy to know that I have Stampin' Friends all over the world. So if you are watching this, you are one of my Stampin' Friends. I love teaching and I love helping you. Um, if you have any comments or any questions about what I do tonight, please leave a comment after the live. Um, I'm more than happy to help you. During the live, Michelle... Um, Batson is my helper, and she will try to help you uh, help answer questions that you might have. You can type the at sign and start typing Michelle's name, and you'll see Michelle Batson pop up, and then you can ask her your question. If she doesn't know the answer, she will save it for me towards the end. Um, I try really hard not to read the chat because I get thrown off on the project, and I want to get the project done quickly so that you all can go off and make one of these because it's so much fun. And if you need a gift holder, okay, we're coming into the Christmas season, the holiday season. I give a lot of gift cards. I don't really like it, but it is what it is. I don't know what those grandkids want and I have 11 of them. The little ones, I can handle. The older ones, gift card. Um, let's see, did I cover it? Do I need to say anything else? Um, just I just wanna say hi to everybody. I see um, oh, Marlene, she says, good evening, and she shared. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all, I want to hit 30,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I'm so close. If you have not subscribed to my channel, would you just do it for me, just so I can get to my goal? My goal was to hit it by the end of December, and when I first started doing YouTube videos, I never dreamed that I would have close to 30,000 viewers or subscribers, so... Um, just help a gal out. Subscribe below. If you subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I go live on YouTube like this or I upload a video. I upload videos on Tuesday morning. So I kind of space it out a little bit. Everybody's got different schedules. And so I want everybody to have a chance to be inspired. And I hope that my projects will help you. I really think that tonight's project is gonna help y'all if you need a gift card holder for Christmas, birthday, thank you, just because, just because. All right, I'm gonna switch cameras and I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle um, in the chat box. If you have any questions, you can ask her um, and then she will flag me towards the end and I will answer anything else that I need to. So let's get started. I love the stamp set Artistically Inked, and so that's the one that I chose because I wanted to use the Coordinating Designer Series papers. These papers um, are called Expressions in Ink, 
and I just, they're just stunning. I mean, you don't have to do much to a card when you use those papers. I'll show you those papers in just a moment. I am going to use two of the dies, um, and the dies are called artistic dies. I'm gonna be using two of them. This is to cut out one of my flowers. This big one right here is to cut out my uh, leaves, so you will see that. Other than that, I'm not really using much of the dies. I love it when you guys are in the chat box and you're just chatting with each other. You join me every Thursday night and you, um, you, you've become friends over there. And I just love that. Um, you know, it's the same name, same faces sometimes, and you all know, um, you all know each other. And I just love that. I love that I have this platform to help bring you all together, our little stamping community. All right, so here's my card. Look how it pinwheels. Can y'all see the movement? So we've got our gold foil leaves right here. Let's see if we can see those. And then there's our gift card. And then some more gold leaves. Now this card does not have a place to write a sentiment. And I know that's y'all's first comment. I know it without a shadow of a doubt. I do have some other samples to share with you and they have places for you to write a greeting or a message. So don't worry, you can take this, if you'd love these patterns of papers, you could take this one and leave, maybe put um, a piece of white, uh, basic white cardstock here, maybe add a little bit of gold foil, but you can, you can modify it, okay? Um, if you will notice on the inside, I do have some designer series paper. Can y'all see that? And that's what helps my pinwheel. So there's that little motion there. Grandkids are gonna love this. I forget who said she gives um, her grandkids uh, gift cards. They're gonna love this. They're just gonna sit there and do this forever. So there you go. I've got my paper trimmer out. Oh, before I forget, because I get to talk in and I forget. For those of you who want to make this card, you don't want to forget it. I will have the free download. This is free on tonight's blog post. After the live, about 8 p.m. Central, my blog post will go live. Scroll all the way down on that blog post and you will see um, the free download button. To get to my blog, you can go to www.txstampin.com. The easiest way is to click below the video. There is a show more button if you're on a desktop or a uh, laptop. If you are on a mobile device, there should be a little uh, arrow, little drop down arrow in the top right hand corner and you can see all the links below my video, um, how to get to my blog, how to get to tonight's blog post to get that free download. Um, Okay, so yeah, just wanna make sure. Okay, my first piece of paper, and I'm just gonna show you, I have all the measurements of what I'm using tonight. So um, I find that this is easier for me so that I don't tell you measurements wrong, but I am gonna to talk to you about the measurements of this first piece. This is the, the mechanism, that middle piece that helps our pinwheel do its little thing. Now. I know that this piece of paper, this is the designer series paper, um, it is four and a half by four and a quarter. So close. It is not four and a quarter by four and a quarter. It is not a square. So after you've cut all the pieces, according to my instructions, do yourself a favor, just double check. I want the four and a half inch, I want the longest side to be against the bottom of my trimmer. I have moved my cutting blade way out of the way because I don't want to cut. I want to do some scoring, okay? So I'm going to score at one inch. At two inches. three inches, four 
and four inches. So one, two, three, four. How easy is that? Okay, and that's all we need our trimmer for. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so when I'm folding this, let me bring in my card again. Do y'all see the pattern inside? How you fold this piece is what you're going to see inside the uh, pinwheel, okay? So I want this to be seen, okay? So if you look at it like that, then the peachy color is gonna be seen, but I want it like this. So just play with it, make sure that you have it the way you want, okay? I want my gold straps to be seen. All right, so we've got that down. So now that we know that, this piece needs to fold in. We're gonna go ahead and score, fold on all of our score lines, and we're forming the basis to our pinwheel tower. Okay, so we've got it going, y'all see that? So I need adhesive. I, I like to have my adhesive on the inside, okay, like this. Let me grab my adhesive. And <clears throat> oh, Renee is saying would have to make one of the sides a small flip up card, LOL, and write on the inside of it. Brilliant. So what Renee is saying, take this panel, do a, um, this is two and blah, two and a half. So it would be for eight inches by two and a half, and then you could flip it up and write your message. Brilliant, Renee, glad I saw that, that comment that you made. All right, so we're gonna um, put our piece down, and I'm going to use, I, I prefer to use a strong adhesive like the Seal Plus or Tear and Tape, because this is a, a moving thing. Anything that moves like this, we just wanna make sure that it's not going to, um, fall apart when our recipient gets it. So I'm just gonna fold this over, give that a good crease, and now I have the basis for my tower. Renee, I'm thinking about your comment, and I really wish I had thought of that. That was brilliant, because I would have made a card like that. Brilliant. Renee, how come you're not doing this video, girlfriend? <laughs> okay, so we have our basis. So I'm gonna place this back down. I have all my pieces cut. And I have four pieces of Marvelous Magenta, Magenta Madness. Marvelous Magenta is an old color, sorry about that. Just wanna make sure of something. This, yeah, I cut my paper wrong. Hmm. Well, the well, well, we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, so I have my pieces cut. These are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm just gonna start building my tower. I'm going to add some adhesive. And I want to place this right against that score line. And I really wanna make sure it's straight. That's the only thing you have to worry about is make sure that it is from top to bottom straight. All right, so now we're going to open it up. We're gonna get another piece of paper. And we want a pinwheel effect, okay? So it's kind of a no-brainer if you just hold it up like that, you're like, yeah, 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 that's the way I wanna go. So now we're gonna add some adhesive to this corner or this panel. Okay, so remember, we want it to go this way, not this way, okay? We want it to go out. And again, making sure that it's all lined up. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take this piece, make the wrong cut a flip out. Oh, I just cut my designer series paper too wide. Um, and so we're gonna do the same thing. I saw your comment, Sandy. <laughs> You know, I, I honestly, guys, I don't know if I can do a, a YouTube live without making a mistake. And it just, I'm, I'm in awe of y'all who come back and watch me all the time. <laughs> I 
Okay, so here we go again. We're putting this right here. We're gonna make sure we've got it all lined up. And then we're gonna open this up and we're gonna put our last panel in. Again, coming off this way. And lining it up. Whoops. There we go. There's our pinwheel. So fun. Okay, so it's pretty funny because it looks like I only cut one piece wrong. <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad I didn't cut them all wrong. You know, if this was a video, I would edit it out. So my pieces of designer series paper are two and a half, not two and three quarters, two and a half. There we go. Okay, we are good. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to start decorating our panels and we're going to add our adhesive. And we're just going to put this right here. It's really a quick and easy card. Oh, I think, all right, so do y'all see my jagged edges? Looks like I need to change my blade. I cut that piece. You know, I go through lots of blades, but I notice it more on designer series paper when there's a challenge. So I don't know if y'all can see the jagged edge, but if you get a jagged edge like that, that is your first clue that that blade has seen, it's, it's at the end of its laugh here. <laughs> It needs to go away and you need to put a new one in. So I will be doing that. Um, I always like to point things out like that because sometimes people just don't know. Yeah, I like it this way. All right, this paper is stunning. It's called Expressions in Ink and it is in the annual catalog, but I would not be doing my job if I didn't tell you guys about the last chance sale for the mini catalog. That is this catalog, holiday catalog, if you want to call it that. Um, most of the items in there are going away. Some of them are on sale until the end of the month, till the end of December. However, it is while supplies last, so don't wait. If there's something you want out of that mini catalog, please visit my website and go get it before it's gone. Mary Yates says, been there with the blades. Yes, ma'am. Those blades, they're sharp, but when they're gone, uh, they're gone. Okay, so that's it, all right? Now we've got this panel right here. We've got four of them. So I, you know, this is where those scraps come in, especially, because I know you guys hang on to them. Um, and so then, you know, when you're adding your pieces, I picked all of the papers that would coordinate with my bigger pieces um, and I, I personally didn't like putting these two side by side. You could, this is your card. You can do whatever you want. So I think I'm going to put this one here. The fun part is you decorating these the way you want. How, how much do you want to decorate? How little do you want to decorate? Totally up to you. Uh, let's see. How about this one here? I'm not even looking at my other card. Let's see if I let's see if I came up with the same design. I'll put this on right here. This is one and a half inch by four inches. Okay. And then, oh, look at that color. We've really got a lot of that just jade in there. So I'm gonna match this one to this. And then right here <laughs> love that accent <laughs> oh my gosh my husband and I are watching a show and this lady was supposed to be from Texas you couldn't understand a word she was saying and and they're like is she from another country and I just started laughing I go I know she's from Texas but even I can't understand her 
Um, and after a while, I could finally pick up what she was saying, but it was too funny. Um, okay, so let's just see how I did. I just wanna see how close I came. Um, yep, I picked the same one. I promise I didn't look. Oh, I did it again. I, I think I had it in my head. I did, I did both of them the same. That's too funny. Look at that, too funny. All right, now let's make our little gift card holder pouch. So we're gonna pull this out, okay? And we're going to add our little pouch. I'm almost done with this card and we are just not even at 7.30. This is quick and easy. You pick which panel you want your pouch on. You could put it here. I chose here because I liked the contrast of the gold foil uh, straps, okay? Now the key is this is pretty much exactly the same size. It is two and a half by two and a half, okay? So our card, let me just show you. I like to do this. All right, I'm gonna flip that over. You don't have much room. Do you see that? Now, if you want to go ahead and take that all the way, like make this piece um, two and three quarters instead of two and a half, okay? It does work with two and a half, but if you want it to be a little bit wider, then do it two and three quarters. I'm here to inspire you and you are certainly free to do whatever you want with your card. All right, so we're gonna lay this here and I'm gonna get some liquid glue. You want a strong adhesive and you want this to set completely before you put your gift card in, okay? We don't wanna just put the gift card in and it's gonna pop off, okay? So my pattern, it really doesn't matter which way my pattern is going. I'm going to put just a thin, thin line of liquid glue. And I'm actually going to flatten that glue out so that it's not like um, a round bubble of glue and it's gonna squish and grow when I put it on my card, okay? Um, and this is a great way to use up those scraps. I know y'all keep them, we all do. And you're like, hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I am not getting rid of it. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see just how thin this line of liquid glue is. We're only doing this on three sides. We're forming a pocket, okay? And I'm gonna hold this up. Can y'all see? Just, oh, that's blurry. Hold on, I went too fast to my camera, I think. Let's see, there we go. Just a thin, thin line of liquid glue. All right, let's move this out of the way for now. We're gonna bring this in and match it up to the bottom and the sides. And it's done. Now again, you want that to set and dry really good before we put our gift card in the holder, okay? And when you put it in, it's a tight fit, okay? But it's, the reason why I like it being so tight is it's not gonna fall out when they open up the card. Um, and did I tell y'all that this fits perfectly in a regular A2 envelope? Mm -hmm, it does. When it's flat, it fits perfectly in an envelope. Isn't that fun? It's just such a cute little card. That's what I keep saying, it's just a cute little card. All right, let's finish decorating. So I cut a piece um, of gold foil with my leaves, my dies from the Artistic Dies. And we're gonna bring this back in. And obviously this piece is way too big, but I thought, okay, well, I'll just snip off a little bit. Let me get my snips. I'll just snip off a little bit. And you know, when I'm making cards, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Let's see, I don't wanna cut this wrong. Let's see, how did I do it? I cut it here. Like this. Okay. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, I cut, 
I think I cut it down there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and take this piece. And we can just piece it together however we want. I'm going to trim this off. I mean, nobody says that we have to use the whole thing like it is. Let's get our glue and our little sponge. Stampin' Up! used to sell these sponges. They don't anymore. You could use um, a sponge dauber if you wanted to. Um, you could use a makeup sponge, any kind of sponge. And then once it gets nice and yucky, so you can see where I've been gluing um, this project before, um, I just, I throw it away. It's, it's seen better days. All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit of glue. And I'm always really careful with my foils that I don't let that um, get glue on the front side. It's really hard to get off. All right, so we're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna add some liquid glue to this leaf. And I'm just gonna tuck that right there. There we go. So now we've pulled in that gold from this piece right here. All right, so there's where we've got that. And I'm gonna put the rest of it over here. Um, you could cut the paper one quarter inch wider and double score the ends so that it folds and a pocket is raised a bit. You could, you could. It would make it bulkier, but you sure could, Renee. All right, so see this stem sticking up? I don't want that stem. We're gonna cut off the stem. And we're gonna get a little bit more glue. I hope that you guys will try this card. It is so easy to do. All right, so we're just gonna add this here. And now we've, this is my slight bit of decorating. I'm not doing a whole lot to this card. Um, I do realize that I probably should have stamped here first. <laughs> you know, when I'm doing a lab, sometimes I forget. You guys know me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. This is pretty flat. I'm not too worried about it messing up. But you know, this pattern of paper has this gorgeous print at the bottom and then there's a white space. And a lot of us go, I don't know what to do with that white space. We're gonna stamp. We're gonna stamp. Yeah, I don't know why Renee's not doing this video. I don't know, I'm just, I'm giving her a hard time. She should be up here doing this video with me. Oh yeah, Renee, come to Texas and do this card with me one time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp my thanks. Yeah, I did pretty good, but don't do that at home. Don't, we are, I am an expert. Don't do that at home. <laughs> stamp that piece before you put it on. Okay, so now we've got, let's see, what other one do we wanna do? Where did I put it? Oh yeah, I did do it on that panel. I cut out, I stamped the floral image right here ahead of time. I really thought this video was gonna take longer and I was like, well, I didn't wanna take the time to die cut it. So I went ahead and stamped and die cut it ahead of time. And now I'm going to turn this over and I have two leaves that I have cut out with the gold foil scraps, okay? We're gonna close this up because I just see an accident waiting to happen. Yay, thank you, Debbie. I'm so glad you like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive so that I can decide where I want my leaves. These are so hard to pick up. Um, I want my leaf that way. And then I want one this way. And then I don't typically do a lot of dimensionals on this card because I do want it to be more flat. You can, you can raise things up. I'm trying to think of any of my cards. I don't think I put any dimensionals on any of my panels, but I think you could. I think you could add one layer of dimensional if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use my liquid glue that I have sitting right here. And we're 
we're just going to add our flower like that. Perfect. Look how fun. All right, I have some more samples to share with y'all, and I really hope that you love the idea of a pinwheel card. I will tell you this, when I first saw pinwheel cards, um, they used a piece of cardstock in the middle, and when I, when I tried it, it was very bulky in the middle. So that's why I prefer to use a piece of designer series paper. It's thinner, so you're not gonna have all that bulk um, on your card. So, <clears throat> This would make a great Christmas card, you know, because these cards stand up. What do we do with Christmas cards? We stand them on the mantle. We put them on our desk, um, you know, but this one can be on, on somebody's desk or somebody's mantle if it's there, if you're sending them a sweet thank you card. Um, and how about to a card, uh, to, to a card? <laughs> how about a card to a friend who might not be feeling well? You know, you just want to send them a little uh, pick me up. Oh look, there I did it. I have a space to write a, a quick message. I went ahead and left my designer series paper layer on and I added a longer piece of basic white there. I stamped it. This is with the Eden's Garden Bundle that came out in November, okay? So it's a fairly new bundle. Um, and then here's my, here's my gift card. Dear friend, how are you? Sending hugs. And then I just left that, I let all the, I let the designer series paper do the work for me because it's so pretty. Okay, so that's a card for a friend who needs a little, little pick me up, they're not feeling good. Um, okay, so the first time that I did a pinwheel card, and I think Margaret mentioned this earlier, was for the Creative 8 Retreats. So in September, nope, in August, I did a pinwheel card. I didn't, I did, I shared this one at the retreat. Um, and while this one is a gift card holder, I didn't specifically call it a gift card holder. I just was demonstrating the pinwheel card. But after I did this one as a holder, by the way, Stampin' Up! does not do gift cards anymore. Don't ask me. I don't wanna read that comment. This was a gift card that I've had for years um, I had won an award or something, and so they sent me a gift card, and it's great for my prop. <laughs> um, but when I was, you know, coming up with tonight's video idea, I was like, why don't, I mean, it tis the season for gift card giving. And so, you know, I thought, well, I will just show them this idea. So speaking of the Creative 8 uh, retreats, we have one coming up in January, January 22nd. And registration starts, ta-da, next Wednesday, December the 8th. So you can watch on my blog, you can watch in my newsletter, um, and let me know if you want to join us, you can register. Let's see, golly, this is the fastest I have ever done a YouTube Live. I, Swanee, I have never <laughs> done this fast. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. See how fast you guys can make this card. If you make this card, please share it on social media and tag me, TX Stamp and Sharon. Um, you can share it on Instagram. You can share it on Facebook, my business Facebook page. You can share it on um, TX Stamp and TX Stamp and Sharon Stamping Friends. I really shouldn't have named it that long. It's such a long name. <laughs> Um, I have a, I have a Facebook group that you can share your projects. You can share anything on those pages, um, and then just tag me so that, um, I can see your version of a pinwheel gift card holder because they're super fun and they're super easy. Now I can just chat with you, Renee. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Renee is my partner in crime with Cards for Kids. We are collecting cards again for um, the Cards for Kids organization. If you are new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can visit my blog, which is, the link is below the video, and you can get the free tutorial uh, guide 
on, like we have rules that we have to follow for that organization and stamp some cards and send them to Renee. She will be organizing those and sending them, sending them to Cards for Kids in January. Um, we're gonna let you get through the holidays, get all those Christmas cards done. Um, but as you're making cards, go, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna make an extra couple of cards to send to those kids. These are very generic cards, but they have to be different. So I do want to specify that. We're not doing a mass um, bulk mailing of the same card. We want each child to feel special and unique and get their own card. Look at my card, look at my card. We all love to get handmade cards. And I, you know, I think it's really special when I know y'all have made me a card and sent it. So that's what we want to do for these, for these kiddos. So again, you can go to my blog, go to the shop button, tutorials, get that free download and make a couple of cards and send them to Renee. So let's see. Kate says, great card, Sharon. I've seen the pinwheel before, but not as a gift card holder. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, there's several versions out there and I was super excited to share that at the retreat back in um, August. It was the summer retreat. Um, and so those are the kind of projects that we try to do. We try to give you some wow kind of things at the retreat. Um, and so the retreat is $45. It is a day long full of um, live presentations. And this year or this time, we're gonna change it up a bit because you know, Facebook has a mind of its own sometimes. <laughs> we love the YouTube pl platform. So our lives will go live on YouTube. The recordings will all be over on the Facebook group. You can still share your cards on that Facebook group. So please join that group if you're on Facebook. Um, but you know what? I think it's gonna be great. You're gonna see us live here on YouTube platform. And then that way we don't have to worry about any of the issues we had at the last retreat with the spinning. If y'all were at that retreat, the spinning of the videos and it's like, oh my gosh. And me getting kicked off during mystery stamping, what the heck? <clears throat> Vicki says, thank you. I love your ideas. Well, thank you, Vicki. I'm so glad. Oh, and Inic loves my top. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Um, Mary Yates says that may work better being over here on YouTube. I think it's going to. Kate Wright says, creative aid is a blast and worth every penny. I I couldn't agree more. We love doing it. We love sharing it with y'all. So watch for your email if you're on my email list. If not, you can go below the video and join my email list um, and you will get all the information delivered to your inbox on the morning of December the 8th, which is next Wednesday. And we would love to have you join us. So, okay guys, golly. Um, all right, so just a reminder, Last chance sale for anything in the mini catalog, the retreat registration. Oh, my um, free tutorial will be on my blog at 8 p.m. Central. So I got plenty of time to go over there and push a few buttons. <laughs> Marcia says, such very pretty cards. Thank you. Pam says, love your projects and your top. Thank you so much, guys. Um, you're so welcome, Mary. You know, Dorothy, I have been told before that my my top could be designer series paper. And I mentioned that to my manager with Stampin' Up. We have like an area manager and he goes, well, where else do you think we get the ideas for designer series paper? I'm like, clothes? I'll take a picture of it. Maybe you'll see my shirt as a designer series paper. <laughs> oh, yay, Sharon. I'm glad you felt like these were great directions. And they, I mean, the card is easy. You know, as long as you cut your designer series paper the right size, like I didn't on that one panel, but we won't bring that up again. Um, it's a super easy card and you can decorate it as much or as little as you like. Just let that designer series paper do the work. So my mystery stampers, I'll be back on Monday for another mystery stamping next week, next Thursday night. I'm trying to think, what am I sharing? Oh, y'all don't want to miss it. Yep, I'll see you next Thursday night. 